Welcome back to Sunrise Daily. The spokesman of the Buhari campaign organization, Festus Kiamo, now joins us from our Abuja studios. I want to thank you so much indeed for coming on the show. I want you to first of all respond to that notion which uh, the previous speaker, uh, the spokesperson of the Atiku campaign organization, Mr. Akio Shutoku, made concerning that the country today is not working as it was working during the PDP's administration and era. Well, thank you very much and good morning. I think um, the PDP is running the most self-indicting campaign I have ever seen. Um, in other words, they use the same problems they caused as a basis for their campaign. The issues regarding the economy uh, upon which they have centered their campaigns, um, the issues regarding the division of the country upon, around which they have also centered their campaigns. These are the problems that they caused themselves in the last 16 years. And it is very funny that they now use these same issues as the issues upon which they are you know, urging Nigerians to vote them back into power. So they are running a, a very self-indicting campaign. Now, for instance, they say they want to get Nigeria working again. Whereas, for three or four years, you know, till the time they handed over power, uh, Nigerians rejected them in 2015, everybody kept saying, you know, around them, their own fo government functionaries, the CBN governor, the coordinating minister of the economy at that time, Okonjo Awiala, they kept telling us that we're headed for a recession. And I have some publications here to prove that. You know, Nigerians have seen that over and over again. I have a publication of um, June, 12, June 14, 2012. I decided to go to this extent today so that I won't look like, I won't even ask people to Google. I had to produce it myself. If you can zoom on this, you'll see where Okonjo Awiala clearly said in 2012 that we are headed for a recession. This is a vanguard publication that we are headed for a recession. Now, Look at another publication. There are many exclusive. Okonjo Awiala opens up, says Nigeria economy is in danger. This was in 2012. Now, now, so you can see now that the situation we find ourselves today is that the same people who caused the problem are now telling Nigerians that they should come back to continue to cause that same problem. Because they have been deceiving Nigerians that the whole of the problems, economic problems and all that started under Buhari. But I've just showed you clear examples that their own minister predicted, their own coordinating minister of the economy, no less a person, predicted that we are headed for a recession as far back as 2012. I just brought the proof to show Nigerians. So it's a self-indicting campaign that the PDP is running. They have absolutely nothing to campaign on. Now, about the division of the country that my very good friend Akin Oshintoku mentioned now. The division started in 2015, where you had two candidates that were diametrically opposed in terms of tribe and religion, Muslim, Christian, North-South. And so they were the ones who were using Christ, uh, religion as a, as a basis to campaign. So if you ask Nigeria, who divided Nigerians more? Who did you see in churches whipping up religious sentiments here and there, kneeling down before pastors. I don't, I'm not saying this is bad, but using it as a basis for campaign. Did you see the president at any point going to a mosque, from one mosque to the other, asking imams to bless him, asking imams to, to be the pivot for his campaign? Who did you see doing this in 2015? So who divided this country? It is the, the division that, we, that they caused in 2015 and the sentiments they whipped up that are still haunting us till today. So it is a self-indicting campaign that the PDP is running, nothing more than that. Oh, Shuntoku said is that their presidential candidate in the person of Alhaji Atiku Abubakar has got what it takes to unite, that's what he said, to unite the country more, that, uh, more than ever before, now that it seems that the country is divided. How would you respond to that? I'm just, I'm just giving you proof now that they divided the country. Now, when you say he has the qualities to unite, I don't understand what you mean by qualities to unite. 
The president has some of the strongest allies he has in the South. Everybody knows that one of the greatest allies of the president is, you know, are the leaders from the Southwest. Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tunubu and all of them and all his, you know, uh, you know, army of supporters are some of his strongest allies in the West. Is that not a unifier? The people from the South-South who just saw the qualities of the president, who just joined the parties, and who are very great friends of the president now, you know, people like um, Akpabio, people like Uduaga and all that, are they not friends and allies of the president? Is that not a unifying factor? The people from the Southeast who saw the qualities of the president, who joined him now, people like former Senate president, former governors, former senators, we never had one Senate seat, don't forget after 2015 elections in the Southeast. Now you have a lot of senators from the Southeast who are part of the parties, part of the, you know, the party and who are campaigning for the president. I mean, his qualities have drawn these people to him. So what are you talking about unifying? Are these not his allies, political allies? Let me, so let me get, I don't understand. Let me, let me get your thoughts on this one. Let me get your thoughts on this one as well. Without specifics. How would, you the, then, the how would you then respond to persons who are of the perception or of the knowledge, if you will, that this same... APC party, which is your party, seems to be a safe haven for the same PDP members who have now joined your party and finding solace and a safe ground in your party and you've not been able to do anything about it. I don't understand do something about it. You want, you want us to drive them away from the party? What is, what is the specifics? What are the specifics? Do you, there, you will not be registered as a political party in Nigeria if you exclude certain Nigerians from joining your party. One of the basis upon which I never was registered is it okay, uh, Mr. Kiamo, is, that is your it party okay, must be open to is all it Nigerians? okay to see people who have been indicted in the PDP, in the party, and uh, in the folds of the APC at this time? No, but you cannot prevent them from joining. Whether they are indicted or not, they are not being convicted. If they have one case or the other, you cannot shut your doors to them to say, don't join the party. The question you should ask is that, does that stop their cases from going on? We just saw that all the convictions that have been achieved now by the EFCC, they were people who were previously in the PDP, who came over to APC, Dariye, Jolin Yame, and their cases did not stop. They went ahead and they were convicted. And they, they were convicted for things they did when they were PDP governors, not when they were APC members or APC governors. So. The, the facts do not add up. That's the point I'm making. This, these are things they repeat a week, one million times, and they almost become the truth. And you, you force people to respond to them, just like this very is, is, insane story that the president was cloned. You know, it's repeated, they repeated one million times before the president was forced to respond. So these are the things that they just say over and over and over, and then it now takes a, some toga of truth. I'm just told you that the only convictions, the high-profile convictions we have achieved are PDP members that came to APC and they were convicted. Okay. So what do they have in response to that? They okay. will see the facts, they will keep repeating the false statements without reference to the facts. 